So let's start off analyzing the total market cap. Our total market cap is was just above, you know, nine hundred billion dollars, but it looks like we are right now, you know, under nine hundred billion dollars. Again, you can see this recovery right here. This is a daily time frame, and it looks like we could potentially push, you know, all the way up to retest uh, the twenty-one daily EMA around nine hundred and twenty-six billion dollars. So that will be my first, you know, target if we continue to go up nine hundred and twenty-six billion dollars, retesting the twenty-one daily EMA. If we break above the 21, uh, my second price target will be retesting the 50 daily EMA around $963 billion. And you can see there's a lot of confluence in this range right here. And if we go all the way back, you can see this is going to be, you know, a major resistance. When you look at your daily MACD, it looks like we could potentially get a buy signal. So if we do get a confirmation, this retest is more likely. And if we can break above, you know, the 21, then this will also be a more likely. But if we don't get a uh, if we don't get a buy signal right here, guys, if we don't get this confirmation, then we could potentially turn around and continue to go down. Now, by looking at the total market cap, just looking at the chart right now, you know, the fact that the 21 is under the 50 EMA, you know, I think that increased the probability of a rejection. So, you know, really keep your eyes on, you know, $926 billion, which is where the 21 daily EMA is. So really keep your eyes on the 21 daily EMA for a potential rejection. And again, if we get rejected, you are going to see a continuation of this downtrend. And first potential price targets is all the way down here, guys. You know, $874 billion. Second price target will be all the way down here at $847 billion. And right after that, you have $816 billion. And after that, you have, you know, $764 billion. Those are, you know, potential price targets if we get rejected by the 21 daily EMA. So let's go down on the lower time frame and see if we can get. A much better short term outlook. When you look at the four hour time, we are currently, you know, breaking above the 21 EMA and retesting the 50 EMA. This is the four hour time frame. When you look at the performance, you know, recently, you know, multiple times we have. Multiple times we got rejected by the 50 EMA on the four hour, you know, trying to break out. Uh, there's a first rejection right here. You have another one right here, and you also have another one right here. So this is not the first time. It is not the second. It is not the third time. It is actually the fourth time, you know, retesting the 50 EMA on the four hour. So the next couple hours, you know, should be very interesting. And if we can break above, you know, the 50 EMA on the four hour, then there's a potential move up to retest those targets that I just, you know, showed you guys. But if we get rejected, that that could be a catastrophic for this, uh, for the entire market, because then we could potentially, you know, come back down, guys, and retest, you know, those levels again. When we go down to the one hour time frame. You can see what's happening on the one hour. We actually broke out of, you know, we broke above the 50 EMA. But of course, the one hour time is going to be, you know, extremely volatile. Uh, you can see 
So we have been, you know, trading in this range, you know, for the last couple of days now, between, you know, 800, $860 billion and all the way up to $950 billion. So again, you know, when you think about, you know, where we are right now, when you look at the price of Bitcoin, when you look at many of these other projects that have basically, you know, turned into stable coins recently, because there's not, there's not a lot of movements, you know, many of them are trading sideways. And you look at how long we have been trading sideways now, you know, I think, you know, really the market is, is, is going to have to make a decision, you know, very, very soon is either we break out, you know, to the upside or, you know, break out to the downside and retest, you know, some of these targets that we have been, you know, speculating for the past couple of weeks and the past couple of months. A major level is retesting that $770 billion, which is the lowest from June. And it is also the 2017 all time high. Another major target, of course, will be, you know, comfortably breaking above that $1 trillion market cap and, you know, staying above $1 trillion market cap. You know, those are two levels that are very, very decisive. And if we can break up, if we can break above, you know, $1 trillion and, you know, be sustainably, you know, stay above, you know, $1 trillion, then I think that will be very bullish for the entire market in the short term. At the same time, if we lose $770 billion, the lows from June, which is again, 2017 all time high, then, you know, the probabilities of, you know, a $500 billion market cap is going to increase and it is actually more likely. So in the short term, guys, you know, the more we continue to trade sideways, the more frustration, you know, this is going to, this is going to be for, you know, any investor or any trader, because we don't really have any clear direction right now. You can clearly see, you know, we continue to bounce between, you know, $440 billion, uh, excuse me, $840 billion and $915 billion. So we need the market to, you know, make a decision. If we can break higher, this is going to be very bullish for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, and of course, the entire market. But if we go lower, this is also going to be bearish for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the entire cryptocurrency market. So those are my thoughts. You know, when I look at the total market cap, uh, I think, you know, we are definitely, uh, we definitely need to make a decision uh, very, very soon. Uh, but the question is, you know, is it going to be a very positive one or is it going to be a very negative one? Uh, personally, I actually think a positive decision would be the market tanking. So the market goes down and then we get huge, you know, buy opportunities. I don't want to be accumulating, you know, many of my favorite altcoins at a very, you know, at a very high price. You know, I want to accumulate at a very lower price because in the next bull market, you know, I know what the profits are going to look like. But let me know in the comment section, guys, you know, your thoughts on the total market cap. You think we are going to break out to the upside or do you think we are going to see a huge crash in the next, you know, couple days or in the next couple of weeks or whenever the market decides, you know, to make this decision?